I feel I feel I'm the underprepared seeing you two. <laughs> oh, it's just the gear. Don't worry, it's not worth it. It's fancy. <laughs> yeah. It's scrappy, but it's fancy. Yeah, it's it's, it's, yeah. it's all scrappy for here. But I had, right. I had an awesome like skull face, and I lost that. Nice. All right, all right, right, let's dang, go. My danks are here. Okay, are you guys ready to run another vault? Yeah. Yes, vault please. runs with the boys. Let's go. Let's go. All right. After they frail, lucky, and tired. Oh, what is tired? Frail, lucky, and tired. Ah, oh, mining fatigue. It's kind of annoying. Uh, it is annoying. Uh, it takes so long to mine the chest. Creepers! Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm going to go. Oh, Dowski, why are you so right. nasty? No, I'm, I'm, going, I'm going west. I'm going west. I'm going north. Let's split oh, it's up. It's a scavenger. Oh, Let's split up, gang. I genuinely did not realize it was a scavenger up to this point. Oh, yeah, it is a scavenger. Are we going to try it? Yeah, we can try it. Code, you're attacking me. <laughs> Just Sorry. not you. <laughs> Different code. Code. It takes so long to mine the treasures. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think if you're drowned? I collected a uh, blue bangle. Nice. I'm scared I'm gonna get one of like Fuzzy's things where he needed 2,000 to cobble. That sounds annoying. Wintergrave, yeah, get is. off me, lag. Ah! Get off my lag. Seriously. <laughs> right. They see me molding. There's a lot of scavenger pieces. Yeah. I uh, don't know if it's going to be possible, but we can try. Oh 67 levels. Yeah, some of these are just not going to be possible. That's why you got to carry bottles of XP with you. Code. Do you have some with you? Yeah. I have oh, like if you want to come and do it. In do I, need to, I haven't gotten anything out of those little treasure things that I'm mining off the floor. Like, do I have to mine them with something specific? Uh, it's a ch no. chance. From what I've seen, it's like a 50-50 chance. Jeez. God. Mona, or Moni? <laughs> Moni, Moni. Moaning metal. I don't think we're going to be able to do the... Um, you know, the scavenger. scavenger. Yeah. So shall we just concentrate on other stuff? I mean, I'm just grabbing them as I go, you know? Yeah, no, it just takes a bit of time to mine stuff and... Oh, yeah, mining fatigue. And... <laughs> yeah, 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 the mining yeah. fatigue's killing me here. Killing me, Smalls. To be honest, all the mobs are killing me. That, that's what's killing me. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get pogs in the chat? Oh, wait, I'm not streaming. That's not, yeah, that's <laughs> not how that works. No, you cannot, actually. No pogs in the chat. I mean, I did, but... It's that or I die. <laughs> um, ah. Subs, why are you so strong? CWG, oh. why are you hitting me so hard? Okay. Because I like you. Stop. Oh. Stop it. Stop it. Fighter. Fighters are so tanky. To be honest, I, I, yeah. What, what level are you guys? Because I feel like this is... A bit above my level. Not that much above you, I don't think. I'm 32. Code is the host. So it's whatever codes oh. is. Uh, 33. Okay, yeah, no, that's not too dissimilar. It's the entrance room, to be fair. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Um, I'm going to leave because I've, I'm out of potions and I could die. Oh, jeez. Oh, what did I walk into? Oh jeez. Okay, I've got Press like three hearts left. Go. Oh god. Ah. Oh. Yeah, we're both out, so you, but you can say anything. Ah! I have oh. no more health potions left. Not really. <laughs> what the oh. heck? <laughs> you get? I'm good, I think. I mean, the poison's kind of annoying. Not gonna lie. Okay. I'm gonna watch CWG die here. <laughs> I hope not, because yeah. I think that means we die as well. Uh, Alright, yeah, I'm out. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Two and a half hearts. <laughs> oh, so many hearts regenerating right now. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. 
Hello and welcome back to Vault Hunters. Couple good vault runs in there at the beginning of this episode. So we have all kinds of stuff. One of the coolest things that I have been messing with since the last episode is the Danks. I mean, this is something that's a little bit new to me, uh, to where I can actually take these and uh, just break open the chests and then collect all the items inside and i'm used to having to open each chest and you know take a look and pull out what i want but then my inventory gets clogged really quickly and these danks are just incredible i can set these to filter certain items and you can see there's some of the things i haven't pulled out quite yet and as long as i leave them uh just like they are i should be able to to gather pretty much everything that i need in a vault and not have to actually clog up my inventory. If I break them and then put it out on the ground, then that makes it so I can just pick it up and when I pick those items up, they fall directly into my danks and my inventory is no longer clogged up. So what are these guys doing here? If I am not mistaken, I believe CWG was playing a little prank on us. Um, I believe he played this, ooh, lag, okay. Whoa, that was kind of weird. Um, so I believe he had done this to all of the other people on this server as well. Um, there are chickens everywhere. The chickens in here, chickens upstairs, they're just laying their eggs everywhere. And it's getting quite annoying. I'm gonna have to take care of these guys. Are you stuck, little buddy? Here, let me help you. <laughs> oh, you're not stuck anymore. Excellent. Um, so we've just been working here and there. We've been doing vaults. I really haven't had the chance to work much on my mega base. If you see from the last episode, it really hasn't changed any. Um, I had to go away a little bit this weekend, do some family stuff. But uh, I'm back now, and so we're getting back into it. I uh, didn't realize that my mega statue wasn't actually producing anything. You see, I only have 13 in here. And I guess there's a bug in Vault Hunters where if you make a uh, make an Omega statue s uh, small like this first without actually letting it produce any blocks, it won't produce blocks at all. So you have to take this guy down, uh, you have to make it big again but with your crafting table, uh, place it, let it produce a block, just like I have these guys, and then make it small again after that. Kind of a hassle, but if you run into that, maybe that's uh, something that can help you out a little bit. And of course, Speed IQ is a viewer. Uh, they were watching whenever we were playing, uh, CDBG and I were playing, and uh, they put their name in the chat and they got a uh, statue named after them. That is an infinite, or I guess an infinite statue. Uh, this will continue to produce uh, forever. It doesn't uh, die like these guys do. Um, I have all kinds of really cool blocks in here now. Some of these I've never even seen before. The Gabo block, which is kind of cool. Uh, some of them produce really nice blocks. Uh, travertine, which maybe I'll do a kitchen with that. That sounds about like something you would do. Uh, hardened stone, dense grit sand, white alabaster. Uh, Space X 14. What in the world is this thing? Um, I've not seen this block. I mean, it's just kind of a, kind of a gray block. I mean, Kind of, kind of cool. I mean, maybe I'll use it for some sort of decoration. Uh, wait, space has SpaceX 14 and SpaceX 10. What is this one? This one looks to be the same thing. Just yeah, same thing, just a little bit darker. Uh, can I break it? Okay, it's a little bit harder, I guess. Interesting. So I have all kinds of uh, new blocks in here. Uh, black ice is always a cool one. Uh, if you guys like uh, air fresheners here in the U.S., there's one called black ice, and it smells really good. Um, all kinds of cool stuff. Andersite. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> Uh, slag brick block. This is actually one that I may be using for my mega base over there. Um, I want to do some of my base out of bricks, and I think one of these over here was, yeah, this one was producing the actual bricks itself. So this is going to come in very handy. Uh, turf. It's like a grass block with four sides. I like it. Uh, kind of a different, different view on things. Scoria, concrete, gravel, all kinds of cool stuff. So yeah, these are super helpful. Super helpful. Um, we have all kinds of stuff here we'll use. Um, when we're done with these gifter statues, once they expire, we... Th <laughs> There's a chicken in my cauldron. Oh, that's hilarious. Uh, we throw them in the cauldron here, and uh, we can use this to uh, uh, get our Omega statues. And we see here we're currently at 78%. So just a few more, uh, or a few more of these gifter statues. Once these expire, uh, these may be enough to get us another Omega. And like I said, the Omegas are nice because they just continue to produce off. Now, one thing I haven't checked in a while was my first Omega statue. These eggs are everywhere. Man, okay, we're going to have to do something about this. Um, 
So, uh, our first Omega statue was this guy here, and it produces light metal plate, and it has just been going, and I have so much light metal plate now. I did throw some metal plate rivets, which is like the same thing, just with rivets in it. Um, I threw some of that in here, just so I, I had a little extra, but um, it's producing away. I'm going to have to change around the storage. I don't know what I'm going to use these for. I may... I, I, I can't change this once I've actually picked, so I may eventually take it down, or... Maybe just let it sit here or something like that because I don't really know what to do with all those light metal plates. I'm going to try to use them over here if I can. I've used some of them like here on the floor and stuff like that for a nice little design. Um, but I may try to use them for some building blocks. I don't think those are actually in the altar, obviously. It's kind of a different thing, so I won't be able to use them in the altar. But my small uh, Omega statue that is upstairs, that one produces prism... Yeah, go ahead and leave. That's fine. Uh, that one produces... Uh, Prismarine, which is one of the items you can get in the altar. Now, this one I just rolled a little bit ago, and uh, it is a lucky altar because it did that little ding with the green particles and stuff like that. So a lot of this is actually really easy. Like, we only have 91 spruce logs, 3 honeycomb, 5 ink sacks, and 3 emeralds. So this is an easy one. We've been collecting the crystals here, and you'll notice I have quite a few soul flames. Now, one thing I didn't realize is these soul flames are actually craftable. Uh, you just craft them with wither skeleton skulls, soul sand, and a soul lantern. Uh, which is awesome. So if you, you use the soul flame with the combined crystal, uh, you can prevent your loss of items when you die. Now, you don't get anything out of the vault. Like, so if you collected a bunch of items in the vault, you don't get to keep those, but you get to keep everything that you started off with. So like I said, we've been running a lot of vaults. We have upgraded our vault helmet, our chest plate, our leggings, and our boots, and we have some pretty good vault armor, honestly. Um, there's still some other ones that I might eventually use. Like, this one's got resistance, which is really nice to have. Uh, but those leggings only have three armor and these have five. So, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, um, this is my main idol that I've been using. Uh, this one has a lot of durability and it also gives me three health plus wither immunity and poison immunity, which is awesome because my sword has the withering to cloud on it. So whenever I hit someone every now and then it puts the withering effect around them and will kill other mobs around it. My Paxel still not great, but uh, I did put Smite on it. I don't know why. I had the book, so I put it on there. But it has Silk Touch, Unbreaking, and Efficiency, so I can at least get through stuff kind of quick. Now, you'll see I have one, un wow, one unspent skill point and one knowledge point. So I'm going to look here. One of the things I know I really am going to want is uh, Haste because it's really hard to go through um, and mine some of these chests without Haste. Um, however, it does take two skill points, uh, which is kind of a bummer. Um, Lucky Altar, eh, I'm not real too concerned with that one. That one's not vital. Uh, resistance will be nice, but that one's kind of expensive. It requires four um, skill points. Uh, parry, eh, uh, some of the idols give you parry, so I'm not concerned with that. Reach would be nice, but it doesn't increase my hitting distance. It just increases, you know, increases my reaching distance for interacting with chests and stuff, which would be nice so I can pillar up. And get the chest. Unbreaking, eh, another one that would be nice, but eh, nothing too important. Uh, the well fit is one that I might go for again because, like, right now we have, I don't know how many hearts that is, but it's a lot. I still have two left over from my last vault run we just did a minute ago with the hardy apples. So I have some hardy apples in me right now um, to give me that one. But I think haste is definitely one that I want to go with because um, the faster I have, faster I can break open chests and stuff like that in the vaults, the faster I can use my danks and get and get through everything. Uh, we did also gather Soul Hunter for the first one. Um, I think I may have showed this in the last episode, but we have our shard pouch here. We currently have 147 shards in it, and then we can also use our shards to buy things. So like we could actually, if I had 290 of them, I could buy some vault boots. And here I could get a mod uh, box. Um, I don't know what this is. I think this is just an unknown item uh, you get, but you have to have 350 for that. So we're slowly collecting these soul shards, and we get those for the mobs that we kill inside the vaults. So that's very handy to have. And then for resources, we still have a ton of hardy apples, all kinds of cool things. One of the things I do want to try to do is I want to eat some of these vault burgers. I've been keeping them off now because, uh, you know, the higher in level you go, the harder the mobs get. And... So I was trying to just keep it, you know, a little bit easy so we can kind of cruise along. But I think it's time we go through a stack and six of vault burgers. And after all of that, we only went up one 
level. Okay, so we're level 35 now, which is really good. Uh, this is some stuff from earlier runs that I did here, uh, with you, which you saw some of them. Uh, I am going to organize some of this, but I do want to open up some of these vault uh, items. Uh, and we're going to roll our vault axes and then one vault leggings. Let's see if we can get something that's a little bit better. Um, I'm not seeing these go... That's a common one. Okay, so this one here does 10.7 hearts, 11.1. That's not bad. And a 1.06 attack speed. Uh, the Ooh, these leggings are pretty good. The 3% cooldown reduction is nice too for things like... Uh, your dash and things like that for the cooldown on those. So not bad. We'll need to compare these to our other axes and stuff like that that we have gained. Um, actually, that well, yeah, that axe is actually pretty good. 11.1. Um, it's better than our normal vault axe. So that could be nice. Um, still, it's even better than our vault sword. Okay. So, yeah, I think this vault axe is going to come into play. Maybe I can combine it with like this one here to get those uh, enchantments over. Um, I don't think, like, that one's got durability and stuff, so I don't know how much I want to actually do with some of these, but, uh, that's a decent Vault Axe. I'll, I'll take that. We'll, uh, we'll mess with that one a little bit later, um, and get that one going. But yeah, so far, I really like the sword, uh, mainly just because it's got the Withering Cloud. It really helps, uh, with a lot of stuff. And the Paxel does good because it, it does the job of, like, three different tools. Looks like Rob has got himself an Omega statue here. Let's see what he chose to do with this one. Uh, Sand. Okay. Uh, sand's a good one. You can always use glass. Get himself some uh, cocoa bean farms here. I wonder if he's got something here in his vault where he needs to... Oh, he doesn't even have a vault rock in there. So, uh, yeah, I have grabbed the Summon Eternal... Uh, I guess you would call it this ability here. Um, I don't understand this fully, but the player summons Eternals from their pool of Eternals in Cryo Chambers. The Eternal Summon is completely random. If an Eternal dies in the vault, they need to be resurrected in their Cryo Chamber using a Life Scroll. I don't think I have any life scrolls. Um, before they can be summoned again, there's also a chance that an ancient spawns instead of an eternal if the player owns at least one ancient. So I have that now, and so I think one of the things I need to be making now is a cryo chamber, and I don't really know much about this. Uh, I know Rob has one. Uh, okay, so we need a pog and a glass pane and iron. Okay, so the pog is something that we have to use all of our specialized gems for. And I went down earlier... Um, and mined a bunch of my special ones. You see, I don't have all the special ones anymore. I have, like, two Escalium left, one Bomb Ignite one left, uh, one Tubium. But let's go up real quick, and let's see if I have enough. I think I do. Yeah, so I, actually, I forgot I put them in a nice little grid here. So we have, uh, just enough here to actually create our first Pog. Um, let's cre craft this guy real quick. And I have some extras here, so it looks like I'm not too far away of being able to create my next one. Let's go ahead and craft this pog here. And I, and I believe we just place all six of these in there. And there we go. We have a pog. Look at this thing. Isn't it cool? Um, yeah, it's a collection of all the legendary vault gems. They're hard to find. They are really hard to find in the vaults. Um, but let's go ahead and create this cryo chamber here. All right, grab us some glass panes. We have blocks of iron, so let's put our iron here. Put our glass pane in the middle, and then our pog down here, and there we go. We have a cryo chamber. I'm actually going to place it right here because what you can do is you can actually pull these guys out, these un or the ones that have been completely used up. We'll pick these up, and I believe you just right-click them. Yeah, you right-click them into the cryo, cryo chamber, and it absorbs them, and it slowly uses up, and uh, it will slowly start filling up. You can see the liquid there in the bottom. I, I don't really know how this works 100%. Um, I'm going to have to use some of these a little bit differently, but we should be able to place all these in here. All right, looking close. Probably just a couple more. One more. Okay, do I need to do one more? Oh, oh, something's happening. Okay. What is this? Is it making me what I want? Paul. Okay. Oh, here we go. Paul. Okay, so he has 16 health, 1.3 damage, speed. Looks like we can give, or he gives a parry, resistance, and slowness. You can hear his heart beating in the background. That's very cool. Okay, so I really don't know how to use this. I mean... Uh, I like the resistance. Okay. Oh, so we select it. Okay. So we get resistance out of it. 
Excellent. I wonder... Okay, no, so I guess we just need a cryo chamber for each one. It looks like we can equip him with some armor. Uh, I'll have to find some armor, and we'll be able to equip him up with that. Uh, I'm going to store these other uh, used-up ones back here in the uh, uh, vending machine, so that way uh, I have them for safekeeping. I don't want to lose them or anything like that. But we will have to try out this Summon Eternal, uh, and it looks like I can get to it Yeah, right here. I don't know really how to use this, but... Uh, it's down here on the left-hand side. We can summon the Eternal with a uh, a button here. And uh, maybe we'll try this out on our next Vault Run. So there we have it. We are working away. I think in the next episode, we're going to go a little bit more deeper into the actual Mega Build we have over here. Um, I want to get some more of this done. This is a massive undertaking. And uh, so getting this done, the quicker the better. Because I'm going to have sections for storage. I want to start moving my storage over here. And getting everything kind of squared away so that we're able to continue on on this series effectively and easily. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you all on the next episode.